Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard and today we're gonna look at the latest accessories for the FX Impact. I'm very excited about this episode, so let's go out there and let's get this started. Ouch, 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 ouch. So FX has made some new advancements to the FX Impact system and the one that is standing out above everything else is definitely the new power block. What FX has done is they went and did some upgrades to the flow of air, which means it increased in power for you guys, which is a good thing for the guys who shoot in slugs these days and especially the heavier versions of it. For the guys who has the older versions of the FX Impact, don't worry, FX has made this system compatible so you can now upgrade your older systems as well. Stay down. Down he goes. Now to complement the new power block, FX has also designed a new hammer weight. This new hammer weight is made out of tungsten which is 1.7 times more denser than normal metals. The heavier your hammer is, the harder it will hit the valve, which will increase the power to the gun. I think this is a great add-on for the system, especially if you want to shoot some heavier slugs. <laughs> One seventy-five.
down. For all the power freaks out there, if all of this upgrades is not enough for you, you can even take it a step further. You can now add the 800mm barrel also to the system. By having a longer runway will give you the ability to shoot some slugs at a faster speed. And if you want to add some stiffness to the system as well, FX has also came up with a new barrel tensioning kit that you can add to it. The next accessory to this gun is not from FX but from the boys from Sabre Tactical and it's called a TRS rail. Now TRS rail do add a lot of new features to the gun setup. You have a longer Picatinny rail on top which means you can now add more accessories to the top rail. At the back there's a built-in bubble level to keep the gun nice and level especially if you want to do some long shots. And talking about long shots the rail also got a built-in 20 MOA into it. On the side of the rail there's nice M-lock slots for more accessories if you want to add it. And on the inside of the rail there's some nice inserts that you can add to stiffen up the barrel system as well. If you fit this rail to the gun it just makes this whole gun look badass. And just for your viewing pleasure here's a recap of some of the hardest hits through this episode. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I really had a fun time making this video for you here today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as what I did. If you like it, remember to go smash that like button down below. And for all the new guys, remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.